Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, my dear friends. My name is Avi Lash, and I'm a trader next to In this video, I'll be analyzing the chart of GBP USD, pound, dollar. So, if you're watching my videos for the first time, you can subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis. So, let's get started. So this is the weekly chart of DXY because on the lower time frame like the one hour time one hour chart or four hour we do not have any resistance on the chart of DXY. As we all know that DXY is flying right now, DXY is unstoppable. We had a very serious important resistance around 103 level. But DXY was so bullish it broke the resistance and right now standing at 103.45. So as of now, DXY looks unstoppable. We have the next resistance around 103.80, around 103.75 to 103.80. Around this level, we have the next resistance for DXY. So if DXY reverses from there, then we will see some kind of recovery on GBP USD, Euro USD. If DXY reverses. But considering the present craziness, present bullishness on DXY, there is a high chance that DXY will break this level as well. So it, so when DXY will be reaching this level here, okay, it will be very, very important for us to observe the market for us. So your one eye should be on DXY if you love to trade on any USD pair. Okay, so let's look at the chart of GBP USD now. So this is also the weekly chart of GBP USD because on the lower time frame we do not have a clear picture. <laughs> if you look at the weekly chart of GBP USD, then you can see that GBP USD has crossed all the important support levels. And as of now, as of now we don't have anything right now. There was a support around this level. GBP USD broke that also. But if I if I take the help of Fibonacci retracement on the weekly chart. Then we can see that right now GBP USD is standing at the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement level. So, in simple words, this is the last hope. This is the last hope for GBP USD. So, if G so if GBP USD breaks the present support here, then yes. There will be a fresh selling in the market or in simple words, we may see another sell of 200 to 250 pips easily. So let's see how GBP USD does or reacts today and tomorrow. <laughs> now let's look at the lower time frame. Let's say 50 minutes time frame because as I have already said that we do not have much information on the 4 hours and 1 hour chart. The black line, the, this black line is the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement from the weekly chart. So this level is very very important. The level of 1.2500. This is the most important level on the chart of GBP USD right now. Okay, so if market breaks this level and starts falling, then you can take a sell position as well because there will be a fresh selling in the market. But keep in mind, do not take a sell position immediately. If market breaks it, wait for some time and see. Wait for a couple of minutes. Observe. If you see that selling is extremely strong, then only take a sell position. But on the other hand, during the day, if we see GPP USD trying to recover, okay, if GPP USD tries to recover, then around 1.25. <laughs> 60 to 1.2570 we have resistance on the lower time frame so there is a possibility that if market tries to recover also market may reverse from this level if GPS reverses from this zone you can take a sell position here as well we also have the uh, we also have the 50 moving average also acting as dynamic resistance on the 50 uh, 15 minutes time frame but I will not suggest you to short the market because I think that taking a sell position uh, in the 50 moving average on the 15 is time frame is risky. So if market tries to recover, there is a possibility that around this level you may get another selling opportunity. If market goes up and reverses, then take a sell position. If you see that market is forming shooting star pattern, bearish pin bar pattern, any good price rejection will give you the confirmation that yes, you can take a sell position. But if you see that the recovery is strong enough, market is forming green candles, then don't go for it. Okay, don't go for it. If possible, try to avoid it. If you have a considerable experience, then you can follow your own strategy. 
otherwise i'll just say that in this present market situation you must be extremely careful be very very um <laughs> Follow proper risk management. That's it. Follow proper risk management because any good trade setup, I felt any analysis can be wrong. My analysis can be wrong as well. Protect your hard-earned money. Protect your capital. Okay. Bye bye.